God wants you to be rich. Now, before you come for me, okay, before you get triggered, hear me out. If you're new here, I'm Sarah, and I created this channel to help you build a more loving and fulfilling and beautiful life through self-mastery and spirituality. And today, we're going to talk about getting rich and why God wants you to do it. So here we go. So I want you to picture, whether it's your father, your grandfather, someone else you know, or just something in your mind, if you picture that perfect, most loving and caring and tender father, what is it that you perceive them to want from you or to want of you, okay? They want you to be happy. They want you to be fulfilled. They want you to be successful. They want you to be stress-free and they want you to live a good life. Now, magnetize that infinitely. God wants us to be happy. God wants us to be healthy. He is our ultimate father. Money does not equal happiness, okay? But money takes away a lot of our stressors, if not most of them. If we look at ourselves just as you and me, right? And we think about what could money do for us? What could this source of energy do for us? It can provide us experiences with our own friends and family. It can give us time. It can give us freedom. It's a resource that we can use to help others, whether it's people we know or we don't know. And isn't that what God wants from us? For us to be happy and healthy and to help and give and nurture others. And money is just allowing us to do that, okay? And I think there's this stigma that God doesn't want us to be wealthy. And why is that? Well, it's a lot of societal stuff, you know? Um, it's a lot of the things that we've heard and that have been imprinted on us when growing up and in society all around us. Rich people are bad and all people that are wealthy exploit others and money is evil and all of these little sayings that we've all heard throughout our lives and it just gets thrown at us from every which way, okay? And so that it becomes this subconscious belief that we're not gonna be good people if we have money, if we have financial wealth. And the thing is, is what, what I believe is that money truly magnifies what type of human that we are. And so yes, there are people out there that have money that are not relatively good people, but there are also people out there that don't have any money that are dirt poor that are also terrible people. So doesn't it go the other way around too? Doesn't that mean that there are a lot of people out there that have a lot of wealth that are good people and that help humanity and help society? Just like there are really good people who lack financial wealth. If you wanna go a little deeper into it, we put money and wealth on this pedestal and like it's so hard to get and like we're not supposed to get and we're never gonna get there. But do you honestly think that the ultimate father doesn't want you to live a good life? Like, do you honestly think that? Like, don't you guys think that God wants us to use the gifts that he's given us? Jesus literally teaches about manifestation and healings and all kinds of stuff like that in the Bible. I forget which section of the Bible it says, but he says, that which I did, you can do more. That which I did, you can do more. So what is that showing us? okay all of the miracles that jesus did on earth he is showing us the path of the things that he could do to show us what we can do so i want you to ask yourself this question are you truly faithful and trusting in god because if you think if if you are struggling right now financially or otherwise and you truly believe that you're never going to be able to escape that struggle, that just means there's a lot of room for growth within your faith there. Because if you're financially struggling and you don't see any way out, then where's your trust and where's your faith? And if you feel that you have ultimate trust and faith, then you need to look at these more deeper subconscious beliefs that you carry 
about money. Some people are scared to get wealthy because they don't know what they're going to do with it. You know, think about it. If you're wealthy, yes, it helps you in your life, which is beautiful and we obviously all want that, but it also helps so many other people directly and indirectly, okay? Think about it this way. If you have money, right, and for you, you wanna take your family on a vacation, okay? So you buy the flights, you book the hotel, you maybe get some new vacation clothes, you go to the vacation, you go out to eat, you do this, you do that. Well, aren't you providing income for all of those other people? And then that gives them money, and then they're able to go out and buy food for their family, and it pays those people, and it's this domino effect. So why wouldn't God want you to be rich and wealthy so that one, you can better your own life and two, you can better the lives of others. If you hold on to this guilt or resentment or detest of money or people with money, that's on you, okay? And you have to realize that so that you can start to undo those blocks and realize how often you say or listen or hear these things about money being bad, whether it's directly or indirectly. You have to view money as a good thing and not a bad thing. You have to realize your triggers when money is brought up. You have to realize your envy when you see other people that seem, they may not be, but seem more well off financially than you are. And you have to realize that this life and this world that God has given us is abundant in every way. And just because you're acquiring money and wealth doesn't mean that you're taking it from someone else. It is a cycle, it is a circle, it is a circulation of money. It's why it's always moving. Believing that rich people are evil, that's a direct block, man. That is a direct block. How can you expect to attract something into your life that you talk about in a negative way? Think of money as your best friend, okay? And you're just saying, oh, Jane is evil. All Janes are bad. Every Jane exploits people. And you're saying all these things about your best friend. Do you think she's gonna be your best friend? Okay, do you think she's gonna be your best friend? No. So you have to treat money the same way and believe that God wants you to be healthy and abundant and free, okay? If you're living out of fear of God, then you've got it all wrong. And look, I'll tell you, I grew up most of my life that way. I was raised in the Catholic Church, which, it's bullshit. Because what they teach you, at least in the Catholic Church, is that you should fear God. Okay, and we all know in the Old Testament, it talks a lot about God-fearing men, right? But it doesn't mean that, okay? It doesn't mean to be scared of God. So I'm sitting here editing, editing this video, and I just wanna interject that we obviously all know of the seven deadly sins, right? I didn't include that in, in this video and greed is one of them. And I think that's why a lot of people are so fearful of attaining money and attaining financial wealth. But what we have to differentiate is that just because you want to have financial freedom and provide a good life for yourself and your family and, and give to charity and whatever else you may want to do with the money to enhance your life and the life of others, that doesn't equate to greed. Now, if you're trying to do it for the wrong reasons and for egotistical reasons and you want to hoard your money and you don't want to help others, then yeah, that could be that could be greedy. But what I'm talking about in this video isn't about that. It isn't about greed. It's about wanting to just build and it's to live a fulfilling life, not only for yourself, but to share it with others. And imagine what this world would be like if that was the mentality that we all had, was that we wanted to share and help and, and provide whatever it may be that other people need, whether it's money or food or housing or whatever it may be. So I just wanted to clarify that. Back to the video. God is love. God is love-based. And 
if he's coming from love, doesn't he want you to be happy and free and helping others? Sorry guys, <laughs> my memory card filled up um, and the air conditioner kicked on outside at the same time. So I just wanna wrap up this video. I know it was a little different than the content I normally post, but I felt very inspired to share this with you guys. So I hope you found some value in it. If you did, please like this video and subscribe so we can hang out again next week and share it with someone if you think they could find value from this video. I love you guys so, so much. And don't forget, be limitlessly yourself. Mm -hmm.